hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where i'm going to show you two looks and give my opinion on the newest pro palette by catrice called desert romance and if you're new welcome my name is nikki i am from the netherlands i'm also slightly orcish mildly vintage and i love makeup and if you love makeup too if you want to learn how to apply makeup on a skin that's unfortunately no longer 25 it's kind of hanging in places then this is the channel for you subscribe now become part of my nestlings because we are having a blast here on the internet let me kind of explain some things the slightly orcish means that i am an olive and the me mediocre what did i mention again the mildly vintage means i'm 46 yes i also have adhd and i'm on the spectrum so you get the complete package does not matter let's just get into the rest of the video i'm trying out a new intro and i'm failing miserably yes um today though we are going to play with this one or i'm going to play with this one this is the newest palette that they released uh, they released or the newest pro palette that they released as far as i know it's available in europe i'm hoping that it will come to the usa but i will link uh catrice's site down below where you can find it i bought mine at boozy shop here in the netherlands uh, i haven't seen them hit stores yet but they will probably uh, do so and it's just a warmer it's a warmer uh color story I'm just going to create two looks and at the end of the video give you my opinion. I have all of these pro palettes. There's one that I have filmed with and that's this one. This is an older one, the natural spirit. I just, I never got around to it. So let me know if you want to see that one. I do also have the new five in a box that they released, the khaki, elegant khaki. There's a video already online on my channel with that and I will link it underneath the cards. Okay, uh, yes, I have uh, primed my eyes with the, uh, the Catrice eye primer as well, this one. It's a very, very nice eye primer. It stays sticky for a long time though, so. But I'm like, if I'm using their formula, I'm kind of going to use their shades as well. Or their base, yes. Okay. I am, um, for the first look, I think I'm kind of going to do something sunsetty uh, or something. So I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm very curious to see how that one performs because yellows are very hard to formulate. And let's see. So I'm just going to start with a denser brush and the shade Sundial. So the shade Sundial. Let's see. Okay. I am going to treat this like a pastel though. So I'm just going to pack it on high as you can see and then i'm going to leave it alone next i'm going to go to the shade called camel and that is going to go be below that one and this shows up for me also nicely lightly going over the edge there maybe i will build it up a little bit more but we will see Okay, I'm going with the same brush back to the yellow and just run it along that edge. Let's shade Camel a little bit more in, but I need a smaller brush for that because I don't have that much space there. I'm going to go to the shale, shale, shield, shade White Love next. The same smaller brush that I have. Really going to look down, tilt my head back and I'm going to put that just well there below the bone in the low crease okay same brush just cleaning it going back to the previous shade the shade camel that orangey it's not as red on me at least as i thought it would be Let's grab a denser brush and somewhat flatter so that I can... And let's see if I can get it a little bit more red. I think um, because it's a red-brown, kind of like that, at least on me, it, it warps a little bit on me, which happens because I'm an olive. And maybe also because that orangey that I use is not really... It's not a vibrant orange. It's a little bit of a, well, a camel, a browner orange, but that's okay. Let's go to the shade Romance to make it a little bit more uh, red, 
basically dust that over. I do want to go uh, to the shade smoke as well because I want a little bit of more a little bit more depth. Let's see how far we can get. So I'm grabbing a brush that's a little bit slanted and a little bit dense. So I can have maximum pigment, tap off a little bit, and then I'm just going to follow my bottom lid up. Okay, bottom uh, lid. Um, I am going to start with the yellow, then I'm going to go to the orange, then I'm going to go to the red, and then I'm going to go to the brown. So I'm going to start with the yellow in the inner eye part area. And this is on top of a set base, so it's not too shabby. And next is the orange. Well, the shade Camel, so it's a little bit of an orangey brown, which I do love, especially in a lippy. Kind of pull that yellow back on top of that orange a little bit more, so that the transition isn't as harsh. And then I'm going to go to the shade Wild Love, which was that redder shade. And then lastly to the shade Smoke, which is the dark brown. Okay, let's also for funsies, just because I can, get the shade Pure. Um, and put that in the inner, inner corner. You know what? I'm going to do a Shimmer Primer on one eye and not on the other. So I can see, so I can see how it works. Let me get brush. First, I'm going to go to the shade called Stargazing, which is, when I swatched it, it's not really it's a shimmer. It's almost more of a satiny formula. Oh, we'll see. It's going to go on the outer corner. Oh, that's, I was not expecting that color, actually, which is pretty. I'm going to go to Sandstorm next. Oh, you can see the dirtiness. That is my desk. I'm going to finish one eye first without a glitter primer. Okay, that's not too shabby. Okay, I'm going to spray the shade. And how do I do that? I'm loading up my brush with shadow and then I'm going to spray the brush. It just makes it a little bit more intense in this case. You can also use your fingers. I just don't like to do that. But this is a very, very pretty color. I'm going to go to a smaller brush and go to the shade uh, Delight. This is a little bit more of a particle shade, so I'm going to spray the brush. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm going to layer it a little bit more on top of that redder shade, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit more. Okay, cute, 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 cute. Then for the inner inner corner, I am going to go to the shade Golden Hour. And I'm going to put that on top of the matte shade that I have there. Let's see. Okay, it's subtle, but it works very nicely, actually. It's always a little bit more up to open up my eye a little bit more. This one's also pretty as a face highlighter, I think. Okay. I am going to... On the other eye, uh, do the same thing, but then use a glitter primer. I finished off uh, the look with an eye pencil from 5050 Makeup. It is a dual chrome eyeliner. It gives a little bit of that fieriness back. I could also have picked an orange, brown or yellow. But I thought that this one was a little bit more fun. Uh, for lips, I grabbed uh, the Curse Cosmetics Lip Liner in Prey, which is their darkest one. And for... Liquid lipstick, I grabbed the shade Jeanette from Unearthly Cosmetics. I really like how it turned out. I feel nice and autumn-y. So let me know down below what you think of this look. And let's get ready for the next one. I'm going to start with the shade Eden. And I'm just tapping this on. It's more pigmented. Than I thought it would be, which is nice. Okay, next I'm going to go to the shade June because I kind of want to see how it um, will help with blending. Yeah, for me, this is more along the lines of a blending out shade, which is fine. Okay. 
Next I'm going to go to the shade Spice. It's going to go a little lower in and yeah. Uh, basically on the, on the middle portion of my eye. A little bit more forward. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the shade Smoke. And with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend it in a little bit more. Then I'm going to go back to the shade Spice, which was that middle color. Before I'm going to go back to the shade Eden. Let's go underneath my eye. I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to go to this shade, which is the shade Romance. Just for funsies. Then the shade Wild Love. And then to Smoke. Still for the lower lash line. I'm also going to intensify the shade smoke a little bit more the upper eyelid nice and dramatic nice and dramatic uh, let's go to the shade Eden again I'm going to go to my glitter primer it's Appalling weather outside, so I just need the extra help. I'm just tapping it on top of the lid, on top of the matte shadow. I'm not swiping, I'm not cleaning my lid, just tapping it on. Then I'm going to go to the shade Delight. It's going to go on top. My brush is a little bit too wet, so I'm drying it on a towel. Is that also? Everything is wet right now. Okay, for inner corner I'm grabbing the shade Paradise and then I am going to finish off the look with Falsies, Lippy and The Works and I'll be right back. I finished off uh, the look with half lashes from Vive in the style Schmokke. Lippy is also from Catrice. I used one of their plumping liners in Polite Rebellion. And then a Clean ID Silk Intense Lipstick in Mocha Delight. But I wanted some added extraness. So I grabbed a gloss from uh, Cursed Cosmetics in the shade Lana. Um, For eye pencil and eyeliner, I used two of these from V Cosmetics. So the one that I have in the waterline is the shade Love is always the answer. Uh, and it's one of their magical essences. Uh, and I will link them down below. I do have a discount code with them in case you are interested. And then I, by mistake, because I have two, by mistake I, I grabbed the other one for uh, in the inner part. And then I basically put that one on the outer part again they are eye safe they are also lip safe so they are very very cool to play with let me give you my thoughts on this palette now when i saw this in uh, on boost shop i was like oh a new pro palette i have them all i have them all i am very much then a completionist because i have them all so i wanted this and i thought that the color story is fun it looks on uh on the pictures and on camera a little bit more red than um in real life in real life especially this one which is the shade wild love is a little bit more brown and when i used it it was also not as red as i thought that it would be now i don't know if that has to do with my olive undertone i have no idea could be um but Yeah, when I opened this palette up initially, I was like, I don't really know what to do with this because my, my mind goes there. Um, but I'm very happy that I played with it because playing with it and kind of seeing 
the different color combinations when I'm working with the palette and then especially the pigmentation of this palette I think that it can make so many different looks so you can go very very light and soft and neutral with the lighter shades you can just keep it extremely neutral with uh, here the shade Dune and then the brown and maybe even this one to set your base or blend it out this one for me which is the shade pure is light enough to use as an inner corner highlight a matte inner corner highlight right now i'm light medium in winter so um it will probably still show up a little but not as much as it does right now but they always do that so basically they always go for very from very very light sometimes to a lot deeper than they have now but i can get quite a lot of pigmentation and drama out of this palette but overall i think that the mattes performed very very well i was very impressed also with the yellow now granted it's not the best yellow that i have in my collection but it's certainly not the worst and i have had yellows that were terrible from more expensive brand than this so Taking it all, all into consideration that this is a yellow from Catrice, I think it's a very, very nice yellow, especially from them. And I think that their formula is better and better. So the mattes performed beautifully. They layered well. They blended well. Um, if you want to have maximum pigment, uh, maximum layerability, make sure that you pack on the shades and start with the darkest one or use the eyeshadow base that they have because this one that they have it stays uh, sticky for such a long time and it really helps to grip shadows that are maybe a little bit softer let's go to the shimmers then so there are different finishes in here again uh, this one which is the shade golden hour and the shade paradise are very much your old school shimmers uh, they are more towards if you're used to very sparkly shades like i am then this is more along the lines of it's more shiny than a satin you can see it here right it's more shiny than a satin but it's very much a traditional shimmer um then the shade uh, sandstorm and stargazing are the marbled shades right and then this one is a little bit more sparkly than this one i have noticed though that if there is a very dark shimmer a lot of the time the shine in them is muted so this one looks on the eye more like your traditional shimmer more along the lines like that one and that one in shine now this one is more foiled so more it's, it's kind of what I consider a shimmer right now. But if you're not used to very, very sparkly shimmers, this one would be like, ooh, that's very, very shiny and sparkly. And I think it's very, very pretty. But this is basically the shimmer that I'm kind of used to. Uh, what I do have to say is that I feel that these shadows work very, very well with a finger, which I can do now because I just took my nails off this morning. So I, I have, you know, I won't poke myself in the eyeball, but I don't really like to do that. Um, but you can also use as a sponge tip applicator. Uh, with this shade, I felt like I had to pick the right brush. And I just think that it is way easier if you can just use your finger. So I did have to build it up, but you can see how nice and sparkly it is, right? So... Overall, I think this is a very, very nice palette. I think the quality is very nice. And again, I feel that these palettes get better and better. Now, I actually got quite a few compliments with the first look that I have on. And also this. Honestly, I don't think that if people see this look and they ask me what palette it is, I don't think that they will think that it is Catrice. Let's just say that. So... Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, are you picking this one up? Are you skipping? I, As far as I know, it's only available in Europe. I don't know if it will come to the USA, but I will link the site, the USA site from Catrice. And I will also link uh, there. I think I can actually order from the European site. So I will link it down below uh, for you to check out. And then that is going to be it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down on the comment section in the comment section below. On my end screen, I will leave my Essence and Catrice playlist so you can browse all the other videos that I did with their products. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.